Hello there and good day to everybody. I am back. My name is Miko, for those who don't know me yet. And this time, I am going to talk about a kind of fish. And the title here is actually a question. Super Salmon? How can that be super? Okay, before we move on to our pictures here, what can you guys tell me about that fish, the salmon? Any ideas? Okay, that was a good one. A salmon is a kind of fish that we usually eat. In some countries, they have farms to grow this kind of fish so they can sell it in other stores. That was a good one. All right. Now let's talk about our pictures or our chart here. But I think we have to read this first. Okay. Genetic material from two other fish is added to Atlantic salmon. Okay. So this must be the base. The Atlantic salmon. And this is the fish right here. The Chinook salmon. And I guess this is for the growth hormone of the Atlantic salmon. And, and the ocean pout. Well, I guess this activates the gene from the Chinook salmon. Hmm. But what does that to what does that do to the Atlantic salmon? Well, here's a picture that can help you. This is the super salmon, and this is the regular salmon. Okay. Any ideas about the picture? That is right. The super salmon is bigger than the regular salmon. Hmm. Let's take a look at things here. So, according to this little sentence, GMO, Aqua Advantage Salmon, are full grown at eight months. Only eight months? Okay, and this is the standard Atlantic salmon at the same age. Well, that's pretty small. Hmm. Well, I think the super salmon is like 75% bigger than the regular salmon. What do you guys think? Maybe. All right. Okay. Anyways, let's take a look at this right here. An Atlantic salmon hunts for food in its natural habitat. All right. So I guess this is the regular Atlantic salmon. Hmm. It does not look so big to me. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's move on to our text. Here we go. And our title here is A Fish, the First Genetically Altered Animal. is approved for eating. Oh, and by the way, by the way, by the way, GMO means genetically modified. Okay, let's remember that. GMO, genetically, genetically modified. There we go. Just for your, just for your notes right there. Uh, GMO, genetically modified. All right, and let's move on here. Okay. A super salmon that has never been seen in nature just got closer to store shelves and the restaurant menus. Aqua Advantage is Atlantic salmon that has been changed by the addition of genetic material from two other fish species. The modified salmon grows twice as fast as regular salmon. Well, we saw that in the chart. Last November, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, huh, that, there should be an A right there, Drug Administration approved Aqua, Aqua Advantage, Aqua Advantage or Aquantage, hmm, it's a weird name, right? 
<laughs> salmon for consumption. The fish will be raised in tanks in Canada and Panama, says Aqua Bounty, its developer. Is it safe to eat? Here are answers to that question and more. But before we talk about those questions, we have to talk about vocabulary words first. And the first highlighted word here is nature. Okay, and I think most of you guys know that word already. But to be more precise, check this out. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Check out your chat window, please. Nature. The natural, physical world, including plants and animals. Alrighty. And here's my sentence with it. Nature is very strong, and we don't want to mess with it. Okay, and you can make your own sentence at home. Let's move on to our next highlighted word here, which is, it starts with the letter S, store. Mm -hmm. Okay, most of you guys know, know that word. So let's just put it in here. There we go. What is a store? Kindly read it, please. All right, a store, a place where, oh, wait a minute, I think I misspelled something there. Ha, hmm. Thank you for letting me know. A place where we can buy things, all right. So that is a store. Hmm. And here's my sentence. I want to see the super salmon in the store. I hope you do, too. <laughs> And we have our next word here, which is salmon. We talked about that word before. It's right here. So we can skip making sentences for that. Well, that's the super salmon, and this is the regular salmon, of course. <laughs> next, consumption. Alrighty, this, this is a long word that we need to do. Okay, and I want you guys to check it out in your dictionary. What does that word mean? Consumption. If, if you're done, you can check this out. Consumption. The process of taking food into the body through the mouth. There we go. And here's my sentence with it. I need to change my daily consumption into something healthier. Yeah. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's talk about the super salmon. First question. Why is it called a super salmon? Any ideas? Okay. This fish is called a super salmon because it is genetically modified. It is bigger. It can grow faster. It can, well, be more delicious, possibly. <laughs> Next question. Mm. Who developed the super salmon. You can find the answer here somewhere. Can you underline it? The developer of the super salmon. How did you guys know? Yes, the correct answer is aqua bounty. And in a complete sentence, you can say the aqua bounty company or organization, whatever, is the developer. Alrighty. Yeah. And here are some questions that you might need to answer. Okay? Or just something that you might need to think about. First question. Is genetically modified salmon safe for humans and animals to eat? Number two. 
will consumers know which salmon are genetically modified? Question mark. Oh, and here's a third one. Wait a minute. There's a third one. What other GMO genetically modified foods are approved? Why do some people oppose to GMOs? Okay, and that is it for me, I guess, and I will be seeing you next time. See ya.